Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an all new brand of motorhome from Fleetwood. This one actually gives you a dedicated office area. This is a 2023 Fleetwood Frontier GTX model 37 RT. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Frontier and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video again today i am super excited we are here in elkhart indiana at open house looking at all the newest latest and greatest motorhomes before i begin gotta say hi to andrea hey andrea hi everybody how's it going today it's going really good you guys we are super excited to be here today at rev group and you know i'm very partial to rev group yes i am super excited to show this floor plan with the uh office space yes and andrea we have a special guest yes. oh hey. it's mike what's going on brother Great to be back on the program. Yes, yes. Glad to have you guys here. Now it's a little different because all your colleagues are watching you in the back. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? Hey, we got a little shirt back. Yes, sir. <laughs> so are you excited? Well, first, personal, how have you been? I've been great. How's your YouTube channel going? Uh, we just got the 2023 products um, starting to roll out, so starting to pick it up again. Good, good. So make sure you guys check out Fleetwood's YouTube channel. What, what are your handles? Uh, Fleetwood RV on uh, YouTube. Perfect, so come on down here. Mike, tell us a little bit about what the new Frontier GTX is. So the Frontier GTX is the big brother of the regular Frontier. Little Wendy, Mike, do that again. Tell us a little bit about the Frontier GTX. So the Frontier GTX is the big brother of the standard Frontier. So we're gonna jump up to a 360 horsepower Cummins diesel. Yes. But then we also jump up to an Allison 3000 series transmission. Nice. So towing is not an issue with this one. Um, some unique board plans. We jump up to an Aqua Hide uh, 400D in here. Okay. Okay. So same layout, same style, just higher end amenities. Now, are you guys still doing the Pace Arrow? We do, yeah. We do. Oh, okay. We're doing two Pace Arrows. We got a 33D and a 36U. Okay, so it's not replacing it, it's in addition no. to. Correct. Love it. Correct. Let's get started. Tips, tip length, Mike? Uh, 37 foot 11 inches. Perfect. Let's take a look at this front headlight design, Andrea. I absolutely love it. It's the elf look. I like all the, uh, the headlights. It looks really good. Right up there, mobile eye collision mitigation, Onan generator. 6,000. 6,000. 6, and again, guys, if you're just tuning in for the first time while we're here at Open House, we get a lot of great access like yes. people like Mike and looking at new units, but these aren't gonna be our normal reviews. The slide outs are open and everything. And there, there might be some cuts because if a dealership wants to see this, we're gonna let Fleetwood sell. So come on down. Look at these tires, straight on the Michelin's. 275-80R22.5. Now this sits on the Freedom Sport XCR chassis. Tell Correct. America about that. Yeah, so it's the raised rail chassis from Freightliner. And as Matt says, the Freedom Sport. This is the same foundation that we have in the Frontier. So with strength and storage in mind, we were able to achieve some industry leading storage. And with the middle, we don't have no uh, vertical bar there. So your big bulky items, yes. not an issue putting in. No carpet on the bottom. We still try to leave that to all the FRP. Yes, and something that I really like is the double door right yes, here. Very Get nice. your coolers in. And then right here we do have a nice big TV. And then again, some a benefit to open house. This isn't normally on the side of RVs. So you're able to see all the interior colors in here and the different cabinet options. Very nice. I like the paint job on here. Yes. Over pretty. here is your surge guard and central vacuum. We do have frameless windows, um, nice armless awning with wind sensor on the outside, and the paint job looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, well, with that paint job, it is the uh, super clear that we have. So three coats of clear, we sand it all down, three more coats of clear. Very nice. Those real nice smooth paint lines. Nice. Right over here, uh, Magnum inverter and everything. 2000 watt inverter. Very good. And then what do we got going around the back? So we have a 10,000 pound hitch. Hell yeah! All of our 2022s and above come with the brake sink. Okay. So it's already prepped for that tow vehicle. Very nice. Um, solid fiberglass rear cap. 
The two piece ladder mat yeah, loves. The, hey, the dumb ladder, you guys. <laughs> hey, if I don't like it, here, here's the strategy. If I don't like it for 2020 or 2021 or 2022, let's bring it back for 2020. <laughs> yeah, no, not a fan. Not climbing up on the roof with the wind today anyway. Nice backup camera. Here's what I will say. I don't know if I, I like the rear tail lights. I don't know if I love it or if I like it. What I mean is I like how it's different and aggressive. I don't know if it's my pattern, but the fact that it's not just no disrespect, that discovery right there, you know, normal the tail light. pattern design. Right, yeah. I like it. It's really, really nice. Cool. Uh, the roof? Uh, TPO. One piece TPO roof. Yep. And then do you still do those aluminum interlocking extrusions? Tell, yes. Come over here, please. Sorry. Yep. Tell Back everybody what that means. So we have aluminum interlocking extrusions that lock the uh, ceiling to the walls and walls to the floor. But what that's doing is taking all that weight off of your screws because screws vibrate, right? When they're or when they vibrate, they back out. So there's no weight supported by a screws at all. In there. So, love it. Love it. Hey, that's why you're perfect. Tell everybody what we got going on here. Four house here. batteries right here. So this is what's powering the house. And then right over here we have our two starting batteries. 50 amp power cord on a reel Very nice. and a 13 gallon death tank. And then the V ride. Very that nice. Is, uh, Beautiful very wet popular. bay. I feel like being a white. <laughs> Just opening the doors for you. Down below, we have our Fleetwood Holiday Rambler exclusive wedge to holding tanks. Yes. Tell everybody what that means and how it's important. So, uh, you know, mounting is a big issue in motorhomes. So with our wedge tanks, if you look at the black tank right here, we only have about that much of bottom surface, about five inches. So there's really nowhere for everything to sit and mound up. And it's tilted towards this drain, which is on a swivel. So everything is coming directly to the, to the drain. Very there nice. you go. So you don't have your poop just simmering in the front. <laughs> right Other over side, here. side, storage. Yep. Replacement porcelain snap stone tiles on the inside. And then the 400D hydronic heating system. And then that's just some electronical wires. Right. Yeah, some yep. Freightliner stuff, some air connection, stuff like that. Perfect. Well, Mike, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. You can skip in this mud. Let's not forget the cargo carrying capacity. 5,326 pounds. Wow, okay. I'm gonna walk on through first. I'm gonna walk on through here. Beautiful motor home. There's your bathroom, bedroom. Look at that closet back there. That's not a closet. Oh, we're, yeah, we're gonna save that. That's the office. Okay, before we show everybody inside, let's give a big shout out to RV Life. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. RV Life Trip Wizards allows you to carefully plan your RV trip before you go. It will show you every campground along the route and let you plan important aspects of your trip like fuel, rest stops, break areas, and more. Know before you go with satellite views, street views, elevation, and grade charts. Then use the RV Life app to navigate your dream trip exactly the way you planned it. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Cool. All right, Mike, you're the guest star today. Tell us what we got going on sitting up here. So we have our Freightliner OptiView and uh, drive tech controls. Everything's at the steering wheel. We have the new OptiView digital dash. Yes, sir. Dual monitors. I love dual monitors. There's some out there still that are doing uh, the single monitors. So oh. we can see our navigation and we can see our cameras at the same time. Love very, that. Very important. But not, if that's not enough uh, safety features, again, as Matt mentioned on the outside, we do have our collision mitigation, our mobile eye right here. Yep. Really nice telescoping steering wheel, very comfortable seats. I'm over here in the passenger seat while Mike and I are going down the road. Honey, stop, Mike. <laughs> Mike, stay in the lane. <laughs> uh, you know, you got a step cover right here. Or maybe that's just what my wife says when <laughs> right. I'm doing the driving. Uh, cup holders here, power, and then the seats do swivel. And then yeah. there is a leg rest right there. Very nice. Above, we do have MCD daytime shades. 
and privacy shades. Very nice. Over here, a little bit of storage. Oh man, two Over is here. definitely better than one. Yeah, that's all of our we boost satellite controls on this side yep and a tv right here we do have a bunk over the cab that does drop down it holds 500 pounds sir yeah, it does yes sir drops down no key in it it's You're okay locked. right there and then there is three ac units on this oh, motorhome and that is excellent. standard yes sir wow yes, sir. very nice coming on over here please have a seat sir very nice double recliner seat sofa Big, spacious, you got your cup holders, you push these buttons, they recline. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great in front of this fireplace. Yes. Because it's just cold out here now, Carter. Yes. And then the interior design. We got Let's check nice these out. Above. Rev Group Fleetwood Holiday Rambler always does an excellent job. LED lights above the slide, very cute. And let's check out these valances. Hang on. Oh, very nice. Do I have to say it? It's always approved. Bing! Oh, very nice. Who does all not... the interior design? Uh, Mindy Cox. Yeah, yeah. She does Andrea. Excellent yeah job. they do a great job. Andrea, you do it? <laughs> no, different Andrea. No, seriously, and I'm not saying this because she, she. I don't see many that I've ever disliked in any in, in rep. Right, right correct. Homes. Like, like Thor also does a great job, but they do have some products that miss. When, when it's like Fleetwood, I mean, I never I'm never. i excited to the day that they do miss. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you got storage over there. Yep. Like a little china you, cabinet. Sir. Fireplace. Some nice backlighting on that as well. Love the backlight. Yes. And the porcelain tile snapstone floor is right there. And Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Oh, excellent. You guys got an MSRP in here. MSRP is $440,000. $913. MSRP, Mike, you can't talk about it, but everybody knows you don't pay MSRP. If you guys are interested in this motorhome, always go to mattsrvareviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're going to make sure we get you guys a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Mike, here's the dinette. <laughs> so, what we got? Bunch of storage added with the credenza. We have additional uh, guest over. We need to have more seating. This pulls out. Very nice. Two more chairs in the uh, rear wardrobe. Yes. TV's on a televator. Where's that button? That switch is right here. Please put it all the way up. Nice countertop here. There's storage under. We got the chairs here. Very nice. Yep, no, that's good. When it's up, then it's there. And then Andrea, please show us this kitchen. Yes, all right, look at this. Pretty frosted cabinetry here. I love always adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. Love the panoramic window with the backsplash. Oh, yeah. Really cute. Solid surface countertop. We've got a farmhouse sink here. Wow. Got that modern. Um, what you guys got going on here? Playing cards? <laughs> Very nice. I like how you guys are doing this modern faucet. Very nice playing cards. Is that what it is? It's like a baseball card. Oh. Nice. Um, did you comment on that backsplash? I did. Very nice. Oh, look. It's a trash can. Hey, that's a hundred fifty-six dollar trash can. All right. Very Storage nice. Under there. Over here we have the insignia convection microwave. Yes. Two burner induction cooktops. So and nice. And then look, we got four drawers. And then I'm gonna just do this one here. And wow. look at this. I like this. I like that it's not really carpet, but it's kind of like that outdoor okay. kind of carpet okay. on the slide. And then we've got, what is this? The LG residential refrigerator. Good size. It's good looking fridge. Yeah, it is. It looks very like sleek. Yeah, very nice. Okay, and then let's see the pantry. Oh, okay. We got the drawers in here. I yes, love this. Yes, ma'am. That is very pretty. Over here as well. Where? Oh, did I miss oh. that? Oh, I missed it. Wow. wow. And then what's above there? That is for our Firefly. Okay, yeah. very nice. And then something that I love, Andrea, <laughs> Art Deco. Uh, I don't think so. No? Okay. But it's cute. All right, let's check out this shower. Good size. Decent size. Little, little seat. Little small for a diesel pusher, but it kind of is what it is. How do you feel right over there? Okay, we got the medicine cabinet right here. Yes. I like that adjustable shelves are in there. Good countertop, good sink. We got storage under here and three drawers. Very and I nice. do see the balances are different here. These are cute too. Okay, very nice. Mike, 
sit on the toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see. Okay. So porcelain. porcelain yeah. And this is a prime pooping position. Bing. Oh, yeah. very good. Let me just test it out because you do have a little bit taller legs than me. No, I yeah, think it's... Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it did, does look like a little bit of a taller toilet. So then we got this like two-color wall right here, sent Dirt Devil Centralized Vacuum. Big entryway going in that master bedroom. Oh, yeah, huge uh, pocket doors. Yes. Tell us what we got going on here, sir. Well, side-by-side -side washer and dryer. Yes. And a nice bank of drawers on each side of that. Oh, that is great. Eight drawers. Yes, Just storage shelves. here. And then open up, up. Yep, we'll do this at the same time. And it's above. Very nice. And then let's get some of these drawers so people can see. Same on this side, Andrea. Very nice. Very nice. Pink size. Was it, this wasn't a tilted bag, was this it? This is a tilted okay. bag, right? Yes. Because we put go? this down. No. Okay. Did you, oh. did you notice too, Matt, that all of them this year come with LCD panels everywhere? Oh, wow. Oh, very the old nice. Fashioned buttons. Right. They're all LCD panels. Mm. And there's one above your bed as well. Very Interesting. Nice. So no buttons at all? No buttons. Okay. Stands. So last time I think you uh, got us on this. Mike might not know this. I'm a button guy. <laughs> well, okay. No, look at these about buttons. It. Oh, okay. okay. And it's on a cord now right, that you can't the lose. That you right. Lose. And yep. you lose it. Yep. See, I like that. Very Cute headboard. Nice. Got storage above. Very nice. And I gotta say, I really like those closet doors. Look at them. Yep. I like how in the, the industry. Wall. Yep. And they're doing wow. that on those rollers. Wow. Very Let's go cute. in there. Let's go in there. See, that's my type of closet, Matt. Well, see, this is my type of closet as well, Andre. Yes. Because look what they did. They put this the optional office in here. Mike, what are you guys thinking? Wow. Well, everybody got the ability to work from home now, that's so nice. we had to go with uh, with the way to accommodate those folks. I love this. This is so smart. You got storage all above here. This is cool. Right? You got a nice big scenic window. Like seriously. When, when people are in the RV life, they're trying to minimalize, right? Yes. They don't need all this, I mean, Andrea would, but <laughs> most people, they don't need all this wardrobe. No, and even it's still, it's still, it's still a good size, but people 100% still need to make money. Um, and you have your office area. Yeah, this is really cool. I like this. You move your computer up to the uh, monitor here, and yep. it is on a swivel as well. Oh, nice. wow. So it gives you a little more, a little better viewing yep. angle right there. I love it. Now, now, are you now? This is probably eight percent of the motorhome. So for taxes, can you write off eight percent of it now? Now that it's an office, <laughs> I think you could write off all of it. <laughs> we are not CPAs. <laughs> and then more storage here. Yeah, we are not financial professionals. I do like that you don't have to give up the closet for yeah. this office. This yeah. is really, really cool. Great. Wow. Well, Mike, that's it. That's the review. Now, before you leave, it's time to give people three things we like, three things we don't like. What do you want us to do first? Um, the three things you don't like. Oh, wow. First. That's going to be hard. First? You sure? You want to do the other ones? No, no, no. It's yeah. up to you. Yeah, let's do it. He wants to rip the band aid off America. Yeah, okay, let's, get it let's just get it do it. Get it over first with. things first, truthfully, I do not like all touchscreens. Love that touchscreen. I also love buttons as overrides. This looks better. Yes. Personal, personal opinion. I, I am going to combo that with something. That's the button for the bed. Yeah. Should be on that side. Because when you're closing the slide in. Okay. Just saying. That, the that's more that's you know. The more you know. Hey. That's valid point. Valid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's just that's just like wow. number one. Andre, dislike number two. Oh my goodness. I always have problems Talk when to I'm me. in these Fleetwoods. I cannot find dislikes. But I will say I'm not really into this whole layout here. Okay. I just I don't know why. It just I think it's too much. I think that I would have been just better with a stackable and maybe just some drawers, wardrobe over here. Okay. And had like the storage up. Or maybe just wardrobe I stuff. I think maybe, yeah. And then put the washer and dryer back in right. there or something. Something yeah. like that. That's a good number two. Yeah. And then Mike. It's pretty hard for me. You've been on the show enough. Yeah. You know, he eats, drinks, and lives Fleetwood. You know. <laughs> he's he's eating his breakfast. He's like Fleetwood waffles. It's like, oh, Eggo waffles, you know. <laughs> Give us a dislike. Oh, that, goodness. Give us something oh. that the head engineer, and you said you maybe you shouldn't do this, but he did it anyway because he didn't listen to you. Give us something like that. Well, I've never walked in my motorhome and looked at things I didn't like. 
That's a hard one. Yeah. Yeah. Put yeah. Me on the spot. Uh, it, God. yeah you put them there on the spot. There has to be something where you said, you know I what? I will say. I uh, wish. I well, did. Hang on. I, I want to give Mike a <laughs> shot. I want to get. There has to be something in here that you said, I wish they would have done it just a little different. And that could be a little dislike. Anything. Hey. Man, I'm struggling. I wish our quality wasn't as good as what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything? Okay. I have some, unless you have some. I have something. Go ahead. Okay. The, the refrigerator's cute and all, but I, I really would have rather had like an ice maker and water purifier. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it is, it, it's, it's very sleek and compact and cute, but the water purifier ice maker people love that and here's what we'll do we will penalize fleetwood for not giving us a dislike and i will give you a fourth dislike Wait, no no before. <laughs> for me I these know. tables just accessing that storage is just a pain in the butt underneath there that's why we didn't even show it no big deal it's not a real dislike well that's four things we disliked about this motorhome wow Andrea, now for the easier part now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome we'll save the best for last why don't you give us the first thing you love about this motor home oh i like that uh for the the value of it you jump up to that 400d and yep. you don't have no issues pulling with this motor yeah was there propane on this no no yeah All we didn't even true. mention oh by the way specs here bing for everybody who is watching on television yes for a coach like this to be all electric mm -hmm. that is very very nice that's like number one andre like number two like number two guys I gotta say, I like the whole floor plan. Talk to me. I love, I love the sofa here. I like the kitchen. It's great. And it's not a super big it's or super not, long motorhome. It's motor not home. a big motorhome, but for everything that's in here, it's been designed very well. And to combo that with how small it is, the three AC units is very important. Yeah, especially when you live in Florida. Yes. Yeah, so that's number two, and then Andrea, number third oh, is going to be the legendary, this is the great. first of its kind, not the last of its kind, rear closet office. I absolutely love it. I haven't seen any other units doing it, but I believe, Mike, Tampa of 2023, you know, you're going to be seeing oh, Thors yeah. and Integras and Tiffins and oh, Numa. Yeah. Everybody's going to be doing it. This was genius. And that's one of the one things I really like about Fleetwood Holiday Rambler. You guys are always willing to do it first. You made some mistakes in the past with that, that Axion. Remember that? We don't like talking about that. Okay. <laughs> do, do you remember it? I do. Should we show a picture? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So not everything you do is great, <laughs> but for the most part, Fleetwood is a leader and everybody else is following. And truthfully, the value dollar for dollar, um, they, they just knock it out of the park. Appreciate that. If you guys are interested in buying this motorhome, go to our website, matsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact app. If you guys like Fleetwood or you just like Mike, check out his YouTube channel at Fleetwood. Are you at Holiday Rambler as well? I don't do a whole lot on the Holiday Rambler side. Okay. I focus more on the Fleetwood. At Fleetwood, YouTube channel, we'll link it below. Follow it for Mike. Um, Mike, what do you want to say to America? Um, like Matt said it, just make sure you check out our YouTube channel. We appreciate everybody's business and uh, we look forward to a next uh, successful year. Okay. Another one. Now, Mike, what do you want to say to the channel? <laughs> <laughs> I nailed it, man. Friends, families? Friends, no. No? No friends, no family. No friends. <laughs> Oh, Andrea, what do you want to say? <laughs> hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. We do know that Fleetwood does read the comments and they do watch the videos. So especially on this one, we're excited to see what you guys have to say. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Oh, Mike, what was that? Oh, yeah, I was going to say hi to my son. He's yes. in Minot, North Dakota. He's in the Air Force now. Oh, Thank wonderful. You for service. Yeah, I appreciate that. My, you have a son in the military? I do. You're oh a good looking gosh. guy. How I old know, are you? Right? 37. Man, yes. oh, you, wow. you're the man. Cool. Well, thank him for your service. And thank you for joining us today. Mike. Yes, thank you. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. Mike, appreciate it. Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.